fat? I did not say fat. If you have ever used these words, you have probably shocked thousands of people and hurt the feelings of many. You hurt me! Hi everyone and welcome to the Eva channel. My name is Marwa, aka Miss English Teacher. In today's video, you are going to learn how to replace five dangerous words in English. The last one will shock you for sure. Oh, oh wow. Shit. So, before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Number five, fat. Back to fat. <laughs> I hope this is not news to you. So, instead of fat, use full figured, well built, plus size, curvy, or you know what's even better? Don't refer to the size of the person. Fat people are not monsters. And guys, you know that we have an amazing app that helps you learn English and have fun at the same time. Now you can get six months premium subscription for free. Just use the link in the description to download Eva. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, YouTube recommends our videos to other English learners like you. So, just click like and subscribe to help other people from all around the world learn English for free. Okay, number four, the N word. I can't even say it. Okay, I am African, but I'm white. Don't, don't justify it. You simply cannot use that word. Never call me that again. Okay. Other words you can use are a black individual, African American, and again, unless you're having a debate about ethnic minorities or talking about Black History Month, it's better to avoid mentioning the color of the skin of people altogether. Racism, that's right. Three, the word handicapped. Um, it is not politically correct to use this word. Um, other alternatives, there could be uh, people with special needs, um, differently abled. We don't want to hear that word. Take that word out of your mouth and change it to respect. Number two, the word made. For some reason, a lot of people still use it. Made. And they are not even aware that this is not okay. Um, actually, because the word has a whole history, okay? And when you describe a person as a maid, you mean that they have a lower social status and you should completely avoid it. Maid. Instead, if you would like to refer to the person that is helping you, uh, you can use the word housekeeper or domestic worker and refer to their job instead of, you know, the social status that maid refers to. Old maid! Okay, number one, and this is going to be a shocker. Do not use the words grandma or grandpa. I know, I know, this might be a sign of respect in your culture, but in English, this is an insult. If you call someone um, grandma or grandpa, you're actually implying that they are very old, weak, ineffective, and slow. So please avoid using these two words in English unless you're referring to your relative your actual grandma and grandpa. Grandpa! Another word would be anti or an. Sir? Which of these dangerous words shocked you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. In my next video, I am teaching you some new vocabulary 
used to describe a woman's appearance. So go ahead and watch it. <laughs> 